So I was initially in my master's program for Alex actually proposed to me after six years at EDC Las Vegas that I actually bought in 2019. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jasmine. I am an RN in the emergency department and I've been working for two years. I just got off a travel nurse contract working in vaccinations. So it's been quite an interesting experience. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but I obviously haven't posted for the past month, almost two months now. That is my computer, hold on. So I just wanted to give you guys an update because I feel like there's so much to catch up on. It's a brand new year and I obviously look significantly different than I did last year. I really dyed out the blonde in my hair because it's just way too much upkeep. I can't keep up with being blonde anymore and my hair was just dying, which is why I naturally cut it again for like the fifth time in the last three months. Like list. Yeah, let's go ahead and just chat, catch up because there's quite a few things that have been changing and have been going on. Um, and yeah, so 2022 is going to be quite a year. I haven't had, sorry, this thing is like really, but yeah, 2022, I wanted to get back into YouTube because I feel like it's been such a good place to document. So a lot of you probably saw our engagement video, Alex actually proposed to me after six years. If any of you are the OG, like Jasmine and Alex followers, we actually started this channel together in I believe 2015 or 16 and we just picked up a camera, literally our like iPhone 4 and we just started filming and I obviously in high school, I was into filming and editing. I was in like a film class, so I really like just the process of editing, so I wanted to continue to do that, but I obviously had nothing to edit because I had no more projects, and I no longer took film classes because I was like a life science major. Um, so YouTube and editing and filming was a good outlet for me to, you know, develop those creative skills, so that's why I actually started YouTube. Um, and then because Alex really wanted to get into YouTube, but he never really continued with it um, He's gonna start to hop on here a lot more. I tried to tell him to make his own channel But he has no idea what to like really start off with But yeah, so if you're ever curious as to that That was the backstory <laughs> and how we started the YouTube channel um, But yeah, so we are engaged. This isn't my um, engagement ring it's actually getting resized again for the second time because the first resizing was kind of wonky it was still a little bit loose so i need to take it back again so yeah um if you want to see a picture i'll insert it here if you're curious um but yeah i want to talk about upcoming things i am currently taking three classes right now i am in school again I don't know if you have noticed that I posted on my social media don't forget to follow me on my social media because I've been posting on there a lot more than I have on this channel actually but I have been taking three classes I have them listed over there so after you see me look up it's health promotion and disease prevention principles of teaching and learning and then research utilization so I was initially a in my master's program for teaching um, these are obviously just the, it's like prereqs, but it's just the generalized classes of um, any master's program in nursing. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then in September, I'll be transitioning into clinicals more specialized towards psychiatric and mental health nurse practitioner. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's probably why I haven't been really on top of my editing because normally when I go to cafes, I will edit my vlogs based on the footage that I have, but because I've had so much like papers and discussions and answering to do, I just haven't been around to doing that. Hi, it's Editing Jasmine and I just realized that I never elaborated on 
my schooling and basically I'm taking these classes and I had overloaded my courses so accelerated is considered two classes but I'm taking three because I asked to take three it's not that bad um, especially because I make my own work schedule but um, my anticipated graduation date is gonna be May of 2023 I believe or early April or late April I mean one of those anyway if you want me to talk more about it I will um, but obviously I haven't really spoken very much about it but maybe in the weekly vlogs I will oops someone's messaging me I'm also working per diem nights in the ER um, I work usually at least two times a week two to three times a week um, but I work night shifts now and being on nights for the past few months has been really difficult for me because I have a hard time readjusting my sleep schedule so that's why I have not been in like the best mood ever I've been trying to like keep up with my working out I just like emailed my yoga studio to reactivate my yoga because I need it for my mental health um, but yeah, um, in terms of, everyone keeps asking me if I'm going to take another travel assignment. I probably, if I do, it has to be soon because I can't be traveling during my um, clinical in September this year. So, But I do have quite a few trips planned prior to me going to start my clinical. So that's why I probably won't be taking a new assignment. Um, let me just ship, pull up my trips. So these are all my trips planned. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see on my phone now because I got one of those protector screens where no one can see. But March, I'm going to be going on a Bahamas cruise. April, I'm going to be going to Portland with my friends. And then I have EDC Las Vegas. It's going to be my first EDC Las Vegas that I actually bought in 2019, but we're finally going in 2022. Um, my family's going to be going on a Europe tour in... June if that still happens hopefully you know travel plans don't change and then in July Alex is going to be moving to Thousand Oaks for his internship so I'm just going to tag along but those are my plans as of now I I don't know I don't necessarily have any other plans in terms of work I'm just trying to like keep up right now with my schooling sorry my camera like was acting up. Those are the updates in terms of just like school and traveling and Alex and I's relationship. Um, in terms of my, I know this is like Chinese New Year more now. It's more like Chinese New Year. So now that it's Lunar New Year and I miss the whole New Year New Me for the regular New Year, I wanted to set some goals for the New Year. Um, my main goal for this year I wanted to share is that I wanted to put 100% into everything that I do. I've noticed that throughout the past few years, I will always like try and do different things, but I won't necessarily give my 100% to it, which is why this year I want to make it a goal to actually give my 100% if I'm going to try to do something else. So whether that be schoolwork, whether that be in editing videos, I just want to actually give my 100% and say that I, you know, tried my best and got the fullest experience. So another goal that I do have, I thought that was my only goal, but this is my second goal. My goal for this year is to vlog weekly. Um, yeah, I honestly just haven't been vlogging because I have not been in the habit of it. And when I drop the habit of vlogging, I just never pick up my camera ever again unless we go on trips. Um, so I do want to vlog every week, whether that be a sit down vlog, whether that be a Q&A, whether that be just taking you through my weekly day to day life. Um, I want to do that for you guys because I have so many comments, so many DMs I just haven't answered and I just haven't been in the YouTube realm in a really really long time So I want to go back and get into the habit of interacting with you guys 
and posting videos for y'all. So if you guys have any ideas for our videos for 2022, comment them down below. Any questions? Um, it's obviously very confusing because I have not updated you guys. I haven't really been sharing very much, but you know, I think it's a good time, especially now that it is the Lunar New Year to jump back into it. Um, so that is it for the, so that's going to be it for today's vlog life update. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment them down below and follow me at Jazzeners on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, and my TikTok because I'm starting to post more on there and be kind because I've noticed that a lot of TikTok videos have really, really rude comments. Not mine particularly, but on people that I know. That is it for today's vlog. I will see you guys in the next one and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.